So we don't get too many horror movies set underwater. Why is that? No, seriously, why is that? I want to know why. There's so much potential and so many opportunities you could get out of the setting. And yet we keep getting movies like... Hi, I'm Danny Quinn, and welcome to the latest episode of First Impressions. On today's episode, Manny Moore and Claire Holt are trapped in a cage underwater, surrounded by killer sharks, in 47 metres down. The plot of the movie is pretty simple. Two sisters, played by Manny Moore and Claire Holt, on her holiday in Mexico. Moore's feeling a little down because her boyfriend just dumped her, so Holt thinks the best idea to cheer her up is to take them both cage diving with sharks. However, while they are underwater, the cable holding them up breaks and they plunge to the bottom of the ocean, and they must find a way to escape before they become shark lunch or their air runs out. Simple, but has potential. I like movies that are set underwater or on the water, and I think they make for a good setting for a horror movie or a good thriller. But for some reason, we don't get too many of them. We don't get nearly as many underwater movies as we do, say, space movies. And I really want to know why that is. Or maybe we do get these movies, but they keep falling on the radar and nobody actually sees them. So I was looking forward to this movie somewhat, because I like the idea it has potential and it could make for a good scary movie. But once I finally got to see it, yeah, my expectations were not fulfilled. This is a very disappointing movie, in my opinion. It's a shame, really, because the elements were all there, but the flaws in the execution, it never reaches its full potential, unfortunately. For one, this movie really lacks intention and suspense. I felt like I should have been on the edge of my seat for the entirety of the film, and yet, for most of the running time, I was just sitting there feeling bored, which isn't really a good sign whenever your movie is 90 minutes long. I think a lot of that comes down to the movie's directing by Johannes Roberts. His directing is overall... Competent, it's acceptable, he has a decent visual eye, and it's not sloppy. But he doesn't bring anything to the material that any other director could probably But he doesn't bring anything to the material that any other director probably could, and his style of directing isn't nearly as tight or as taut or as gripping or as unrelenting as it really should be. There's very few moments in the film that are genuinely suspenseful. There's maybe one or two scenes where one of the two sisters is at risk of drowning. Those moments are genuinely scary, but that's really about it. It's a shame because the actors are overall pretty good. Manny Moore does a decent job in the lead role, and Claire Holt's not too bad as the sister. The pair do have decent chemistry together, but the characters are overall just very bland. I didn't really care about either of them, even whenever they were trapped underwater. You just can't throw characters that you don't give a shit about into a deadly situation and expect us to actually give a shit about them. Neither of them was particularly annoying or unlikable, but they weren't interesting, and I didn't care about either of them. The movie also really struggles with its pacing. Even at 19 minutes, the movie just feels sluggish and slow and anemic. And a lot of the tension that should be oozing out of this movie is just not there. There's way too many dull moments and moments of quiet that the tension just kind of dissipates from the movie. It also doesn't help that the film feels padded like hell. I really get the film that the filmmakers are really struggling to make this movie 90 minutes long. Because there's so many scenes that could have been either cut out or shortened to reduce its running time. But at the same time, if they did that, the movie would only be an hour long. Okay, so there's got to be a couple of things about this movie I liked. Well, it is pretty to look at. There's some beautiful cinematography underwater and even on location. And for a low budget shark movie, I've definitely seen ones with worse production values. The sharks do look okay for the most part, and they do look pretty convincing. Even if there is the odd unconvincing visual effect shot here and there. The score is pretty creepy and unsettling. And the production values aren't too bad for a film that was originally meant to go straight to video on demand and DVD. No seriously, that's originally where the movie was meant to go. It was not intended to be released in cinemas. Maybe that's where they should have put it instead on video on demand and DVD. Overall, 47 meters down is a disappointment. It's flatly directed, its characters are bland, it's pallid like hell, it's seldom suspenseful, and not all that scary. Even the sharks aren't that much of a threat. They're terrible at biting, and every scene with them is just them chasing one of the two leads, and them narrowly avoiding being eaten because they have main character immunity. Top that off with a twist ending that's cheap and arbitrary, and you have a cocktail of disappointment that should be thrown to the sharks. I'm gonna give 47 meters down a 4 out of 10. Why is it that underwater movies struggle to be scary? I mean, how hard is it? The potential is there, the setting is there. How hard is it to make something scary out of that? Instead, we keep getting movies like this. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with reviews for Atomic Blonde, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, Annabelle Creation, and several others as well as my monthly contribution to the Super Inc. Movie Club in the form of A Clockwork Orange, which, as I said, I can't wait to talk about. And if you want a good underwater horror movie, I'd recommend checking out my Super Inc. Movie Club review for Jaws. That movie's a masterpiece. 
And in the meantime, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'm Danny Quinn, and I hope you have a pleasant evening.